Hello. Going to the home minster switch. Do you see that bird? See the bird? It's just hanging out in my in room. Spoilers. <laughs> okay. Home home minster switch. Uh this is gonna be the first dungeon for Shadowbringers. We in Shadowbringers now. It's kind of intense though. This whole run was kind of intense. I uh, farmed to get a nice weapon because I'm going as Paladin now. If you watch the Stormblood Alliance raid series, I, I went in as Paladin, switch it up a little bit. Um, and I'll be using Paladin for Shadowbringers and probably Endwalker. Or I'll switch it up, I don't know. Look at my sword, it's white. Okay, anyway, all right. So, you know, I'm running this with duty support. So I got Alphanod, Lina, and Alice with me. And you know, our duty information, things like that. Make sure you're eating some food, all this stuff, okay? And then we got some action over here. Shadowbringers is the first time they had the NPCs actually fight with you. Like, they had um, the squadrons and stuff, and so you could run optional dungeons with them, but this was the first time I believe they had it so you could run main storyline stuff. Especially with the actual like characters, like Alpha and Alice. Okay, tricky thing here. I'm pulling all this stuff over here to this final area, but you'll notice down here in my mini map, there's an ad down there. <clears throat> I'm gonna see that a bit, okay? Like this, this has happened in previous runs with other NPCs. Um, and so I was kind of like, okay, I, I kind of, I can kind of expect that then. But if you have been playing through the story with the NPCs thus far, you may notice that this group of NPCs act a little different, okay? I'll, I'll make note of things as they happen. Anyway, dodge this stuff, but I did the whole pull. Of course, if you are, you know, new to tanking or new to healing or just want to pull like play it safe just do smaller pulls it's totally fine but as you can see doing a big pull with the npcs is is okay it's fine for now foreshadow okay uh alphanod here is a scholar um, and then we got Lena as dancer and Alice is a red mage. Before there were other things like Alphano was like an academian, academician or something as his job. But they got these other jobs now. Also to promote the extra jobs that they release as the expansions were added. I was gonna go as Gunbreaker but I didn't get mine up to 70 and also I kind of prefer Paladin. Anyway, okay, so this next pull can also be doable to do the full like water wall thing but you'll notice here like I'm watching you can, you can see one of them's veering off here and then the rest of my party members kind of just stop while I'm continuing to go. If you're running this with other people you know, they'll likely continue running with you, but with the NPCs, as you can see, they're all dimmed out. They're all back there. I'm up here with all of these. So, so at this point, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna die. Also, I used my invuln already, so I die. And if you die, <coughs> your whole party resets. If you're running with NPCs. If you're running it with other people, hopefully someone just raises you and it's okay. All right. Other tidbits. Um, let's see. I think, yeah, Dancer and Gunbreaker were released during Shadowbringer's time. You had to have uh, a class either at 60 or 70 and also own Shadowbringers, and then you can unlock it or something. Uh, I don't remember the exact numbers, but yeah. Okay, well. 
So I'm going to try again. This time, see, I'm parking it. I'm kind of holding back and I hit the enemies twice, hoping that the others don't pull aggro. But then I looked back and they did. So what I think happens is I pull everything, but then all three of them target one ad and then they rip aggro from me. Like they take enmity away from me and then they just stop and focus on the ad and then they all are back there while I'm running up here, you know, trying to pull everything together. So it's kind of tricky. If you're doing smaller pulls, it's not that, it's not going to be an issue because you can just stay with them. But if you want to do big pulls like this with the NPCs, you are going to have to keep an eye on whether the NPCs are following you or not. I think I kind of talked about it in one of the other videos, like doing line of sight stuff for the enemies, but also for the NPCs. Like you want to go around a corner so the enemy follows you and then so the NPCs will target an enemy and if they can still see it they'll just stop and attack it there which is fine but then uh, if I move to a corner and they can still see the NPC I, if they can still see the enemy then they'll park it like really far away it's a whole thing it's a whole thing okay so you be, if you're gonna rely on going with the NPCs you just gotta figure out how best you can play with them Anyway, okay, this pull is a, it's okay. Yeah, we only wiped once. Okay, why are you watching this? I'm gonna go look it up. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just need to have at least one class job already at 60 and also own Shadowbringers, and then you can unlock Gunbreaker and Dancer. Yeah. Um, if I, I'm pretty sure if you... Oh shoot, I'm not gonna spoil it, but yeah. Yeah, 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 alright, first boss. Okay, for this path of light, that is going to be a raid wide. I wasn't sure, so I hit rampart, but yeah, that's a big ramp. Um, raid wide. Okay, brazen bull. So these orbs are gonna pop up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So there's four orbs, and then this gibbet cage is a. Uh, AoE in the center, so get dodge that, and then now the orbs are gonna go off. Okay, so they do like this crisscross type thing. So you want to stand in in a safe spot, a pizza slice out here. Okay, and then now these orb things haven't gone off yet, but then the boss is doing thumb screw, which is this thing. So you want to stand off to the side a little bit. Okay, and now, okay, after the crisscross orb stuff goes off, they're still there and they're doing these line AoEs, okay? Okay, and so you have to stand between those lines, but then now the boss uh, went to the safe spot and then is doing this big AoE. So you want to stand, like you can stand here, or you can stand in these little triangles here, or like here, or, or over here. Okay. See, they're all lined up at the side there. Looks like Alize got hit a little because she didn't run out in time. But, yeah. And she took like half her health. Path of Light is raid wide. Pillory? Tank Buster? Is a white carbuncle. Okay, brazen bull. This is the the orb things. Oh, they're called forgiven dissonance. Okay, so they're gonna go pop AOEs on the ground. Okay, okay, so they do like this. 
type of stuff. Okay, so we got one spot here, and we got one down here. Um, but then remember, we got this gibbet cage thing, which is the melee thing. Well, you're gonna have to run out anyway, so pick pick one of them and go to it. Okay, so I went over here, and they are all over there. Okay, so, but then the boss is doing this thing over here, so... Okay, the orbs go off. So I guess if you go, if you happen to be on this side, you can wait a little. Orbs go off and then you can run out. Okay, now the orbs are doing their line AoEs and basically you have a lot of clear spot. Okay. Path of Light, raid wide. Tank Buster. Oh yeah, the NPCs uh, have little sayings. They like to say things. Okay, brazen bull. We're gonna get the orbs again. Let's figure out what pattern. Oh, we got thumbscrew first. Okay, so don't stand in this. Oh, okay, okay. So we want to stand in the safe triangle area. Look at Alice. You're just standing in the area. Okay, and then. Okay, and then the boss does this triangle thing, and then uh, looks like there's another set of orbs, some drops, right? It's that first set, we just had the one row. Yeah, okay, so for the, f the first row, uh, this rectangle, okay, the crisscross orbs go off. And then she's over here, and then, okay, and then she has her AoE thing, but then also pops these, a new set of orbs. Okay, so, so you want to stand in the safe spot for now. Okay, first stuff to go off, and then, okay, now, now, park it to the other side, okay? She's got this long AoE, okay, from, from her, the thumbscrew thing. And then now these orbs on the sides here are doing the crisscross thing. Okay, like this. And then the original set of orbs are doing their purple line AoE, and it's all overlapping. Um, but we got some safe spots right in here and right over here. So you want to run off to the side. Like while you're running, try to run between the original set of orbs. Okay. Like see, see how there's this one and this one? And this one, this one. So you want to kind of run along these spots first to get to your safe spot. <clears throat> but then uh, we'll, we'll get out of the boss's thumbscrew thing. I know, whoa. Okay, it's kind of hard to see. But yeah, see like th this stuff is going off. As soon as it goes off, like I'm, I am running in this thing and I'm fine, but the cast bar is, hasn't even reached halfway yet, so it's fine. Um, once these go off, then you can run off to the side. Okay. There we go. Okay, this triangle thingy again, and then the orbs on the other side do their line AOE. Let's make sure you're standing in a safe spot. Look at Alice say, she stands right in it. Okay, so, so that's what happens if you stand right in it, okay? You take a decent amount of damage. Well, Alize, Raidway. Tank Buster. Pillory is Tank Buster. Okay. Yeah, yeah. After a while, you kind of get used to the names of things. There's like a mild pattern. There's like the Path of Light. When I think of a path, I think of like a long, big area of stuff, and so I'm like, oh, area? That might be a raid-wide type move. And then like, things that sound like single names, I don't know what pillory means, but, um, yeah. It, it's mostly the, the AoE ones, the raid-wides. Usually, I can get the hang of them. Okay, this pool, it's just too packed, really, but, um... I thought I could go get the other one, but I was struggling a little. The difficulty with this is similar to the thousand... 
some maws of Todorok or whichever like a Rome Reborn one where they did a redo and there's like it's really poisony there and just it's one of the dungeons where it's just a very long straight line. The issue with these long straight lines with the NPCs is they're continuously able to see uh, where the ads are and so they're gonna stop wherever they're standing because they can still attack from wherever they're standing and they're all ranged so uh, it's a bit of a struggle to, to p do big pulls when it's just like one long line because they're just gonna stagger back there and then stop and then cast and then and then go a little and then s and then cast again you know so you have to keep an eye on all that um, like here I was like dang I should be popping more mitt and all this stuff like I was think I was thinking more about okay I can't necessarily change them um, and I was kind of looking over some of my stuff uh, but yeah so at this point yeah I'm just thinking I gotta figure out how I can change the way I play to work with what I got here and what I got are these NPCs that are always just gonna stand as far away as they can to do whatever and sometimes in life that's what you gotta do you can't change people you know you just gotta figure out if it's something that you can change for yourself and if you can and then you feel better about it then that's there you go you've grown anyway okay so i pop more mitt at the beginning and then and then i pop my invuln and I turned my camera a bit so that I could reliably see them a bit more instead of just looking at the minimap. Um, so I adjusted so I could figure out how to do bigger pools with them. And yeah, this is fine. I'll probably level up my gunbreaker to sh show it off and stuff like that, but it's kind of slow going and I wanted to just continue making these guides. So at some point when I go back around to making the optional dungeon guides, you'll probably see the gunbreaker in those. Oh my god, and if this is like the future future and it's all out already, wow. I'm impressed that I was committed to the project. Eventually I'm going to get too comfortable and I'm going to start rambling about all sorts of stuff during like ad pulls. What am I supposed to talk about? You guys know this stuff already, you know? At this point, you know about ads? Wow, okay, so you jumped out of the gate there. So you can't break the gate by yourself. It, like, you have to wait for the ads to fall. Okay, so at this point, I'm pulling all this stuff and I'm, I'm watching and I'm, I'm throwing my shield blob back, my range attack. To make sure they're following and i'm turning my camera to also make sure they're following it there we go i also saw that there was a fence up ahead so i was like okay it's fine i'll just this is enough i don't need to keep going if anything i should run back a little bit to stay closer to the npcs oh yeah it looks like sometimes i'm casting clemency on myself so i can self-heal because i don't fully trust alphanod Alphanod? Alphana? I don't remember which one's right, and I don't think I ever will. I started playing the game when Shadowbringers came out. They were like advertising it at a conference, convention. So I tried it out a little bit, and I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, free trial, make sure. And yeah. Was it four years ago? Four or five years ago? So it was, it was really cool for me to like finally get to Shadowbringers and then like do all this stuff and I was like, whoa, this is cool. Okay, next boss. Arrive in the auction. What's over here? The auction? Why is it called auction? Okay. So this thing 
Oh, the tickler. Tank buster. Scold's brittle. Okay. That's a raid wide, but like I don't know how I knew. I just I was like, Ugh. okay. So here, fevered flagellation. Everyone gets these numbered dots over them. Okay, so Lena has one. I have two. I see these two red dots. Uh, Alphana has three. It's like this, and Alice has four. Okay. Uh, the bl blue colors are the odd ones, and the red colors are the even ones. So if you have a hard time kind of seeing the colors or have a hard time counting how many dots there are um yeah just yeah. so red are even blues are odd and they're based off of how many dots there are okay um what happens is the boss is going to jump towards people based on the number so one okay and then i was two alpha was three and alice is four so then it jumps to me and it's gonna jump to alpha and then jump to Allison. Okay? So, uh, what's important there is you don't want to stand in the way of the other person. So, for example, uh, here, I'll show the number again. So like for example, if uh, okay, Lena is one, I'm two. If Alice say decided to stand between the both of us, then the boss would go one here, and then zoom across to me, and then Alice would have gotten hit. Okay, so you don't want to stand between other people, um, or you'll get hit with that stuff. So you separate a little bit, and then it'll go in order. Okay. Okay. Thaliac? That's a god. Raid wide. Often I was praying in the middle of the fight. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so here we got these AoEs to watch out for, and then we also have this stack marker. Um, exorcise though looks like it's gonna drop all this uh, white stuff. You don't want to stand in that. Okay, if you stand in it, you get a bleed. I checked for for the guide. Okay, so in this situation, we got one, two, three, and Alpha is probably four. So, uh, I probably shouldn't stand in a way where there's people in the line, but I was like, trying to move away and then okay yeah and then Alice chooses to stand there so so let's see what happens that's probably why I came up with that example okay so, so she takes a little bit of damage yeah okay so she, she takes a little bit of damage right so it goes to Lena one two three yeah okay so it wasn't the best placement like I think to work around the NPCs, I could have stood like right here, and then it would have gone one, two, three, four, like like that. But I wasn't really considering the fact that they weren't gonna move and adjust for me. They all just stood, and did their own thing. So yeah. Anyway, I would say he's taking a lot of hits here. I, I began to, when I played through this, okay, also it kind of seems like when the boss is kind of done with this move, um, it kind of stays facing the last person. See, it's kind of staying on off and on a little bit. Anyway, when I started playing with these NPCs, I was like, I, c I don't know. Well, this is a raid wide. I kind of felt like I was. What's the thing when you put personality in things? Another raid wide? Personifying? Eventually, I was kind of getting the idea that they were playing similar to their personalities. Tank Bluster. Um. 
Okay, raid wide. Because Alice kind of plays it really close. And I know she's red mage, so she can, she does have a melee thing, but she just definitely stands in kind of dangerous areas sometimes. Okay, we got AoEs, and we got the stack marker again, and I mean, I'm just following them. Okay, but they're parking it right in the middle, but if you're running with other people, I mean, you could stand basically anywhere. Well, hopefully not in the AoE. Yeah, so there's white stuff drops again, and you want to just, uh not standing it or else you get that bleed. Okay, numbers again. I got one. They're all moving. Oh, okay. We got one and Lena's two over there. Okay, but Al Alphana moves a bit. Okay, so hopefully they don't get hit. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, in a way, it's, it's fun, you know, to be like, you know, up and on earlier in the quest, we were saying that blah 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 blah, and now look at this, you're in the dungeon with me doing this. Why? Why aren't you watching? You said you wanted to go on this adventure, and now look at where we are. You know, that kind of stuff. It's fun! It's funny! Alright, moving on. This next set is a- uh, okay, for- well, one thing, this is kind of sad. This thing straight up just changed the people. Um, this next set in general though, you'll see these three pockets here of egg things. Unfortunately, they don't just populate. Um, like, see, I'm gonna run to one and, like, it's just a collider. So... It's kind of a slow, slow place here. Big AoE, but it's kind of, you You can't really do big pulls here at all. You just gotta take them down at the current pace. So. And this is what it's like with like uh, just other random players too. Like I've, I've run this with my friends and I was like, man, I can't pull anymore. We just have to stand here with these. So. Yeah. Oh, there we go. This other set uh, births themselves into the light. Heart death. I'm gonna let it play out so you kind of see in real time what it's like. I'm just gonna read uh, an article on the side. Nothing too interesting is happening. And by article, I mean some of the debuffs and stuff that we'll see in the next part. Okay, next set of things. I bring it up to this north one, but I mean, yeah, they're not waking up really. Okay, 
Okay, focus, focus now. This new set opens up, and now look at this. Alice dies. Okay, let's let's let, let's try to take a look at what happened there. We are taking care of this last one, and as soon as this thing opens up, as soon as they're able to be targeted, okay, I have all the aggro. It's all red on mine, but because Alice is just right up in there and is doing her stuff or whatever or just because she's I don't know she's just there she gets hit real quick and so okay this is a good example of why you want to make sure your tank gets to attack first so you don't die but also the limitations of the NPCs are that sometimes things get funky okay but at the same time often all does a raise real quick and then heals her up real quick so yeah, this I was like, whoa, what the heck? But looking at the footage now, I'm like, there's nothing I could have really done. Because as soon as I saw them shift and I did my attack, see, I did my attack. You know, I was trying to get aggro. She already got hit once and then twice. And yeah, it was just not good. Oh, that's weird. It. It went green for a moment, and then it went to me. So I had- okay, I had all red. And then, for a moment, it was green, and then- and then Was it my fault? <laughs> no, I had tanks dance on, and I hit the thing as soon as the thing went off. Bruh. See? My my blade's going off. I yeah, I got this and that too. That's wild. Seriously. Okay. Well anyway, that is something that you'll probably see. A bit of quirkiness running it with the NPCs. Cause I mean, like like I said before. Shadowbringers was the first time they had the NPCs run with you, so they added this AI system. Besides, like the squadron stuff, and so I'm sure they had to work certain things out. Um, and then they added the NPC support for Endwalker too, and then it was Heaven's War. Uh, oh, and then it was a Realm Reborn, and then Heaven's War, and then soon they're gonna have for Stormblood. So I'm sure through time and iteration, it's gotten better. Um, but yeah, I just, having ran all the other stuff, which happened to be newer versions of the AI, uh, I, I just definitely felt the quirkiness of the Shadowbringers AI. We make it through, but yeah, okay. Final boss. Ophelia. Pull the boss, turn it around, per usual. He kinda stomps a lot with his leg hands. Okay, Scavenger's daughter. Was he? Oh, big raid wide. Whoa, that took like half their health. Okay, Tank Buster. Who's the head crusher? Pendulum. Okay, so I got this thing above my head and basically I just want to spread away from people and then also we have this proximity marker. So move to the side away from the proximity marker but then also move away from whoever has the, the marker on them. Okay, chain down. 
this puts chains on someone and then here uh, because Alice's name is dimmed out and she's got this thing she's been fettered okay and so now she's got this iron chain around so you need to go and attack this the boss is now doing this thing called aethers up which is this aoe and it's kind of a slow cast so you have enough time where you can run in and take care of this if you're melee and if you're range you can stand out and take care of it but yeah see there we go we free our friend and then we move out of the aoe immediately see you have a lot of time Okay, now this, right knot, so when this happens, you're going to need to look at uh, the leg arms, okay? Whichever one is being lifted up, you need to go on the opposite side of that. And it's the right one on this, you know, if you're facing it, it's its right leg arm. So you want to stand on the left side. My strategy is to stand behind it and like kind of stand in this pocket, like behind its uh, hip. Well, I guess its hip is here behind its other thigh, and then and then you won't be in the AOE. There. Okay. Okay. Now it lifts its other leg arm, and it's a left knot. Okay. So then you stand. You go on the other side. And like I said, I, I try to park it in this little area just to be sure, because I'm like, if I can't see the actual color, I know that it's not going to go beyond this space. Okay. And then I move it back north because I'm a tank. Tank Buster. Mitigate for this. It's so nice that they add the Tank Buster, like, you know, icons now. It makes it so much easier. I don't know if you like it easier. If you like it harder, then I don't know if you can turn it off, but I like it. Tafephobia. Okay, there's AoE spread out. Okay, stack marker, and bring it together. Well, that hit hard. I don't mind hard content, I do like hard content. Like Savage and Ultimate stuff, you know? Okay, so this one, make sure you're running it away from people. And then also, because of the proximity marker, make sure you're running along the edge of the stage so you don't get hit as much. Yeah, I don't mind hard content. It's just, you know, quality of life stuff. Okay, fierce beating. There's a few things happening here. There, there's this, like, perpetual AoE for the boss. If you step in this, you're gonna get some debuffs. Like this. This one. Uh, this one's sludge, I think. And it will basically do damage over time. Okay, um, and okay, so now the actual thing. So you don't want to run across this, okay? Um, there are these arrows here, which means the boss is going to start rotating clockwise, all right? And it's going to do some beatings. Additionally, I'm going to run up here. You'll notice, oh, let's see if I can get the eh, spoilers. can always count on Alice, yeah. So don't don't run through the center of this thing like her for too long. Yeah, it is sludge. Okay, so if you're standing in it, you have sludge, which will do damage over time. Did she take a lot of damage for that? Okay, my bad. I'm going back a lot because I didn't actually run into it to get the footage myself. Forgot. Okay, she had this much health, and then she did start to. Whoa. Okay, so she had the same amount of health as Lena. And she took a decent amount, and so it looks like if you run into that, you do take a good chunk of health decrease, okay? Anyway, mm, this, what's important here is, okay, the boss is going to rotate clockwise, okay? There are these circles in the front here that have arrows, so the boss is going to slam his hands, actual hands, into the ground, and it's going to hit here and here, and then it's going to move forward because because of 
these arrows. Okay, so it's going to be like a line AOE this way, but it's going to be in the shape of circles because he's beating his fists. At the same time, he's going to be rotating, and so it'll be, you know, this, and then this, and then this, and then this, etc., etc. Uh, additionally to that, he's going to slam the back. We'll see. Okay, okay. This AOE, you also need to watch out for. So we got this front one to dodge, and this back one to dodge. And then we keep rotating, okay? It can seem like a lot, and it kind of is. But here, here we go. You know what? Let's just play it up. Let's just play it up. I gotta, I gotta just let you see it. Okay? We're rotating. Slam. Okay? The tail swipes. And then we're all running ahead. You don't cross into the middle or else you get the sludge damage down. You run a little bit. Do some attack. Don't stand in this line AoE. Or, or this. Well, it's a big triangle AoE. But also don't run too far ahead and get slapped with this thing. Okay? It's the whole thing. And then, you know, you gotta watch out because these things are blowing up and it's going that way. So, you got like one, one-ish, one, maybe two pizza slices to work with, maybe. Just think of it as one though, just to be safe. You got basically this one. Like you can kind of see that the stage is split up with these lines. Like this, kind of. Like this. So, um, if you just take it like one of those lines at a time, it might be good. See, so so I was here and I'm moving here to this line. What I'm actually looking at. Let's go back. What I'm actually looking at is the. The uh, the front rock here. I saw that it was like this, and so I don't want to go close to that just yet. I want it to go away, and then I kind of run straight into it, and then I kind of hang out in this area. I'm looking at this, and then I see this one, and I'm like, okay, now I can go here. Okay, so I'm always running as close as I can to the next one. Whereas the NPCs are standing as far back as they possibly can to not get hit with this thing. So they cut it close and I, I try to play it... S I cut it close by playing it safe, you know, in a safer way. I run away from the danger. I run up to the danger, whereas they stop to possibly not be in danger. I don't know if that makes sense. But... Yeah, so... Another way that you could do it, though... If, if looking at these explosions is too difficult, um, a better way might be to position yourself so that I'm trying to erase it, so that you're on the other side. So you're standing over here instead. I'm not saying run across necessarily, but if you happen to already have been on that other side of the boss then maybe running along this line would be better because you can you can literally see where you have to stop right every time the line aoe shows up you have a clear spot of like where you cannot stand like you don't want to go in here so <clears throat> that might be good but i reckon this whole sludge situation of running in the center it was kind of put there to make it a little difficult is you can't just run over there without um, taking some damage but yeah you know you can kind of imagine if you're standing over there and you just have to not standing in in the white line that might or orange line that might be easier to like mentally maneuver around whereas for me here I'm running through and there's all this stuff in my camera but I'm just still trying to pay attention to where the rocks are stopping okay the first time I did this, I definitely just died. I was like, what the heck? There's like so much stuff everywhere. But, yeah. Okay. Okay, we're gonna it looks like immediately after we got this stack marker. Let me, let me go back just one more time and I'll skip back to this. Um, like, for example, if we know that this move is gonna happen, okay? Fear speeding, here. Uh, 
then the tail is always going to be on this side and since it's going to go clockwise like this that means this triangle is going to move this way and so if you know you would be able to handle this mechanic better if you're on this side following it then i would use this time period to run over here or go around this way to stand on this side and then and then you'd be running away from the hand stomping the front but at the same time you have a clear line of where you can stand okay so that's what i was trying to say before with that okay moving on So it looks like he does a full 360, and then he's done. Okay. Okay. Stack marker. Okay. Oh, left knot. Left, left arm leg. Okay, I'm standing it just so you can see what happens. You get tossed up. You're down for the count. Technically, you're up for the count because you're you can't you're in the air. But you take some damage and you get a bone stack. Okay. But also. As soon as you land, you still have some of this down for the count. You're actually down this time. And then he's doing the right knot, okay? So if you don't get out of that fast enough, you could... Looks like I got hit with it, you know? Because of ping. So down for the count, another bone stack. So that's, that's kind of the difficulty of that mechanic. Okay, but remember, stand behind the other leg arm that's not... Uh, lift it up. Okay. Chain down. Someone's gonna get fettered. Ooh, it's Alice again. Okay, so so we wanna take care of the iron chain to free up the friend and then get out of the AoE. Also, don't be afraid to like run through the boss's hitbox, okay? Like, I remember when I first started playing, I thought I had to run out because I'd get damaged or something, but no, you, you can run wherever, it's fine. Except earlier, when there was that sludge thing, okay? It, there was pretty clear that there was an AoE underneath him. Him? Her? They? It? Scavenger's daughter? Uh, I think this is a raid wide? Yeah, it was a raid wide. Oh, the NPC just says, say so many little things. Tink Buster. Okay, spread these AoEs. Nice. We did it. Wow. That's a really long tone. Alright. Oh, that was the excerpt. Okay. That felt like a lot, but it also felt like it wasn't too bad, right? So I I hope I hope it goes well for your run. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.